We are back. It is Sean or Elk, whichever you would like to call me. I am sorry if the last few videos were a little bit too loud. I just listened to them back again and they seemed a little bit loud to me. I had some people complaining it was too quiet. So I turned something up. I was too loud. It seems to be an ongoing thing. That I, I, I just don't quite do it, you know, like, I just don't quite do it. <laughs> um, that I try to f fix something and I overfix it and then it sounds bad still. So then I overcompensate again and it's just going back and forth. So hopefully it wasn't that bad, but it doesn't sound that good. So I'm sorry. Just took the Notre Dame game. It's 10 nothing Notre Dame. Yep, and that's going to be a blowout. USC is terrible this year. It's too bad because they had a great team. But their coach is a douche. I just pissed off probably all of Southern California. I'm sorry, Southern California. <laughs> well, maybe not. You might be a Cal fan. Or a UCLA fan. Which they probably agree with me 100%. So, we need to get the fuck out of this place. I don't have room for these. What do we get rid of to pick those up? I kind of want the cocoa beans. A saddle it is. Can I make saddles? Hmm. Let's think about this here for a minute. Fences. Okay. So, this area is cleared. There is nothing worth a shit down here. Fuck. Oh, let's go down again. Make a new fucking pickaxe. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. This is an iron pickaxe. The hell with it. Go ahead and use this. Because the quicker we mine this shit, the quicker we get the fuck out of here. Because, again, the golf course. Oh, and the timer. I'm only going to be a couple minutes off this time as opposed to a half an hour. The last few videos have been too long. I hate my videos being that long. I actually might change, or actually might edit them down a little bit because I don't want people sitting here watching their computer for a year, a day, watching me. Because again, there is too many other people out there to watch. So, anywho, Notre Dame has to lose, but it's just not going to happen. Oh, let's put that where it belongs. Number one. Hmm, hi. I don't like what can happen here. Can't go too far, so I go back there and get more sticks for more torches. So, anywho, this sh will hopefully be the last one. And again, I apologize for doing a whole bunch in the same area, so not a bunch in one day, but I don't have much of a choice. So, in turn, you guys get everything all at once. Hmm. <laughs> yep, that works. Oh, oh no! Hey, ha! Gotcha. One torch. Well, I guess it's time to run back there and get more wood and make more torches. I hope you guys are enjoying this. There's been a whole lot of it going on. Fuck. Let me out. I'm not easy to get into that motherfucker. 
So we go this way, then we go across this way, then we go across this way. I'm so fucking lost. Hey, I made it! Look at that! I'm good. Not really. Get rid of the rotten flesh. Where is oh, I don't need a workbench for this. That's right. Let's see, if I need to get 16 sticks, I need to get 8 of these. I don't want to make too many. Needs to be an even number. Fuck it, that'll work. Okay. Back to the task at hand, which is getting through places. I keep finding new places to go. So, I went this way. No, this way. No, this way. I think it was this way. We will see. Fuck. I guess that was right. You know what that means? Close this fucker up. And we'll never go back this way. Pow. Eat the food. Go this way. Or was it? It wasn't down. Was it down? No. It wasn't up. It was across. Here we go. Now we're back on track. And then we went. No. Well. What? What? Oh, it was here, wasn't it? I just went around and everything before. Okay. Here we go. Oh. What? Where did he... From here? Alright. So. Do we go up here in a circle? Probably. Okay, so here is a waste of time. So we go back. I need coal. I want to go back to the house. This might be the last video here, no matter what. For two reasons. One, again, I hate doing too many videos in one area. Or, too many videos at once, I should say. Because, you know, I can't talk about things that happened Sunday now. Because I'm going to have a bunch of videos here from today. Hey, I didn't see this. Jesus! Uh, if I can piss that creeper off, I'll kill everything. Haha! -ha! Look at that. Success. I love when things go according to plan, which never happens. Alright. Make sure you have a way out. Good luck. Remember this anyways. part is I'm so fucking lost now that I can't sorry for the quietness I just happened to see this huh what's this 
is a cave that never ends. So, enough of me singing because that is terrible. What the shit? Where the fuck am I? Uh, probably have been here before. Well, I was saying I need or not be able to find, you know get back to where I could get torches. But you know what? Problem solved. I'm back, so I can get torches. <sighs> Well, let's see, I can get cold beans off of a tree. So, that's what we're going to do. Do I go back down to here or do I go up to here? Let's go up. Okay. I hate being lost to begin with, and I really hate being lost and being somewhere before. Huh. This is kind of neat. A little underground area. A little something going on down here, probably. Nope. Oh. A whole bunch in the... Oh, over there could be something, maybe. Over here might be something. Nope, nothing. Okay, so we will block off this area. We will put the blocks here. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. Okay. Back into this shithole. So, it's a friend of mine on Facebook. The girl pissed me off. She's. Uh, is that gonna be an email? Or is that gonna be. It is an email. Thank you to whoever responded to whatever I said. I've been. Tet. Er. After videos, I've been. Reading people's responses to my to my shit. To buy mushrooms. I need to pick some of these up so I can get more shit. Anyhow, so, there's this girl. And this happened not all that long ago, but this stupid bitch, and I don't usually call girls bitches. She's a bitch. She's having a going away party, or, so, or she's going out to the bar half an hour away, and she wanted to make sure she needed a DD. I'm like, listen, I don't want to go out, especially out where you're going. That's not fun to me. But, you know, when you're ready for a ride home, let me know and I'll go get you. So, ready for a ride home, she calls me up. Not a big deal. I think I told her I would. So I go out there and pick her up. First thing she does is try to buy me a shot. It's like, um, I'm your DD. I'm not drinking. Because I'm, I'm really good about that. Like, if I'm being a DD for somebody, I will not drink. So, I'm telling her no. I'm like, not happening. Thanks, but no thanks. Whatever. So, she, whoa, Hi. Where the shit did you come from? So, in turn. Well, then she starts dancing like a stripper, which is fine. Then she dances on, on the whole bar like a stripper. I'm like, eh, this is, you know, and I've never actually, like, hung out with this girl before. She was the teller at my bank when she was still around the area. That's how I knew her. Anyhow. 
So she's dancing like a stripper on, like, on all, like five or six different guys. I'm like, all right, nothing good can happen from this. Where the fuck did I come from? We're going to ask over here. So anyhow, so she's dancing like a whore. Which is fine. Not a huge deal. Again, I'm being her DD. So I know that she'll be okay. So what pisses me off is what happens in later on in the night. When we get to my car, and I know she's wasted, and she's like, you ever have sex in this car before? And I'm like, well, not yet, you know, not a big deal, don't really care. She's like, well, do you want to? Great, here we go. So I just kind of, you know, I laugh, just shrug it off, whatever, she's drunk. So we go, she's like, I go to, let's go to the, the club, because what we she was at a bar, she wanted to dance, fine. So I take her to the dance club. And we walk in. And she's like, hey, I gotta go to the bathroom. You know, get me a drink. I'll meet you on the club. Or on the, on the floor. Alright. So I wait for her by the bathroom. Because, again, she is a drunken mess. And... I'm going to make sure that she is okay. So. Gotcha. Wait a sec. That boat sucks. So. I'm waiting for her and all that stuff. And all of a sudden. You know, it's been like 20 minutes. So she's throwing up. I know she's throwing up. So she comes out looking like a mesh. I got to get out of here. Not a big deal. Pretty much carry her out to my car. And I had to pull over a few times on the way home. So she could throw up. And we get to her house. I carry her to her doorway. I'm like, hey, you know, text me in the morning. Let me know how you're feeling, all that stuff, yada, yada. So, the next morning, or a couple days later, I wish I might have told the story, I can't remember. But a couple days later, she's having a party at her house. And she invites me to it, so I go. And I'm like, hey, how are you feeling the next day? Blah, blah, blah. Talking to her, you know, everything's fine. And I'm like, well, okay, you know, I gotta get out of here, I gotta go to work. So, I'm leaving, and then she's like, hey, gotta talk to you for a second. I'm like, all right. So, we get to my car, and she's like, hey, what happened last night? I'm like, well, or the other night, I'm like, well, I'm like, you were a fucking drunken mess. You were dancing on all these different guys. I carried you out to your car. Or out to my car. I took you home and I carried you to your doorstep. She's like, well, why were all my clothes off this morning? I'm like, what do you mean? And she's like, well, I just don't know what happened last night. And all my clothes were everywhere. And you're the last person that I saw. And I'm like, listen here, bitch. I don't really appreciate what you're insinuating. And... I told you exactly what happened. That's going on in circles. And I really do not appreciate, you know, what you're getting at. I'm like, I was your DD. I didn't drink when you tried to get me to drink. I made sure you're okay. I'm like, any one of them other guys that were there that you were dancing on like a freaking stripper, they wouldn't have made sure you got home safe. They'd have taken, taken, taken them to, your, to their house. And then who knows what. I'm like, so I really do not appreciate what you are saying and just never talk to me again. So, she texts me like two minutes later, and she's like, well, I'm, I'm not going to say the person's name, but she's like, well, so-and-so said that you took advantage of me, and who is a very good friend of mine. So I 
text him up. I'm like, hey, I'm like, why the fuck are you telling this girl to take advantage of her? He's like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, she said that you told her that I sat there and when she was drunk, took advantage of her. And he's like, I wouldn't do that. I'm like, I didn't think you would. So he texts her and goes off on her. There's something over here, right? So I can mock your shit off. Yeah, that's what I thought. So he texts her and goes off on her. So then she's texting me and I'm an asshole. Now, I haven't quite put two and two together on that one. But she was like, you know, I was just trying to figure out what happened last night and blah, 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 and this, that, and the other. And I'm like, well, there's a lot easier ways than doing that than just sitting here and accusing me of freaking raping you, pretty much. Like, I did not really appreciate that. And, you know, again, never talk to me again. So that pissed me off. So, I go to the bank two days later, talking to one of the tellers, and then he's like, hey, Sean, can I talk to you for a second? I'm like, yeah, no problem. So he's like, hey, he goes, why don't you take advantage of Faith when she was drunk? And I'm like, this fucking bitch not only accused me of it, but now she's telling other people it that had nothing to do with anything. So, again, I got a hold of her. And I pretty much lost it. I'm like, I don't really understand what your problem is here. But never ask me for help ever again. If this is the way that you are, then I don't even want to be a friend with you. At all. Like, at all. So, she came home for Christmas. And she saw me, she's like, hi, Sean, and gives me this big hug. I just stood there. I'm like, I'm like, what are you doing? I'm like, I don't understand what is so hard to understand about never talk to me again. Because, I mean, I, I'm a pretty spiteful guy. I mean, I, I'm really easy to get along with. I'm really helpful. But, like, as soon as, like, that happens, I got problems. And I got Serious problems. Let's try to get back up here where we belong. I'm just walking around the same places now, blocking shit off. We're not getting anywhere. So that's not good. Especially because I'm just sitting here having story time, talking about my problems. <laughs> but, yeah, so, like, she thought it was just, you know, it was fine, not a big deal, anything like that, and to me, it's a big deal being accused of that anyways. But then to sit here and tell other people that, they have nothing to do with anything, it kind of it kind of rubs me the wrong way a little bit. You know, you sit there, you try to do a favor for somebody, and all of a sudden, you got people accusing you of shit. I'm not sure what kind of friends that is, but... Oh! What the fuck happened there? How the? Oh. <laughs> That's where you came from. That scared the living shit out of me. Oh my god. I thought it was below me. Oh man. Man, thank god it was. Wait a minute. He couldn't have came from up there. He couldn't have. Because that was all, yeah, it's not possible. Because that was all the way up there. That all right. It's not my game. So, anyhow, yeah, that, that kind of rubs me the wrong way. Oh, so then I was out running one day. When she was home after she saw me in the bank and I totally, pretty much told her to fuck off. And her and her friend were driving by while I was running. And she pulls over and tries to talk to me. Like, I don't understand 
one is so hard to understand. We're back at the beginning. About never talk to me again, because I mean that's pretty much as plain as day as it gets is just just never talk to me again. You know, I just there's certain things I don't appreciate, and that is one of them. Yeah, it's more of my problems. Wait, what the fuck? So I was just here, and I go up here, and I'm here. So I'm back at the base. So I think this whole area over here is gone through. Huh. I think we are done. Good. That makes this guy happy. Let's take a look at the time. Let's see what we got. Even that's even better. We got twenty seconds. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and me rambling about my problems. <laughs> or apparently her problems. As always, please comment and subscribe. There's a timer right there. As always, please comment and subscribe. And for those of you that are watching and have watched for a long time, thank you. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye. We are back for a quick second, so I probably missed something along the way. I'm not quite sure as to how, because I mean, I've been here probably a million fucking times. I went this way, found a chest. So we look inside the chest, and look what we see. Oh, let's put this down. We go kablam. I am. Diamonds. So, yeah. I, A, I haven't seen everything in this, in this place. Hopefully now I have taken that diamond, getting the F out of here. And again, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.